let us import contacts and then send a bulk campaign so this is my contact sheet wherein i have few columns named as name number order number order status and category and i want to import all these columns as well now the very first we need to see if our number column is correct so the number all numbers need to be with country code but without any plus sign so if your country code is plus 1 it should be 1 here if it is 91 it should be 91 here secondly there shouldn't be any space or dash or any other character in the number so you need to remove all the characters from the number except for the numbers next you should always select this entire column click on this formatting option click on custom number format and then select this zero option here and then click on apply this will ensure that when you export this data to a csv the column is not disturbed now let us see i have three columns uh, additional to name and number that is order number order status and category so now i need to create these in custom fields first so i already have a category named custom field so i simply add order number and order status custom fields so we we'll basically map this custom fields while we are importing the data now the custom fields are created i'll again go to the contacts tab and then here i'll simply enter a name for the sheet and then click on file download download as csv so we support only dot csv files once the download is completed click on control and tab click on import contacts and then select the appropriate file now all of your csv headers or the first row would be visible to you here in the left hand side and you need to map to the right so if there is any specific column that you don't want to import you simply let it be do not import now the name column i am mapping it to the system field known as chat name the number column will be basically my whatsapp number do not confuse it with the mobile number sms you need to select whatsapp number if you want to send whatsapp messages then the order number column i'll map it to order number custom field order status to order status custom field and the category column to the category custom field if you do not map any of these that particular column won't get imported then click on start import if you have a huge file this might take few minutes it basically uploads thousand entries in one go you your file can be even of 10000 or 50000 contacts but the system will iterate thousand at a time and once the contacts are imported you'll be able to see it here now i have few columns known as order status and order number where do i see them here so there are two options for it first you can click on this view icon and then click on custom details you'll see all the custom fields that you have imported that is order status order number as well as the category the second option is you can click on this three dots click on customize column and enter the custom fields which you want to see so it will get updated and you'll also be able to see the other custom fields it is not compulsory to select all only select those custom fields which are essential for you now the next step is sending them a bulk campaign message so select the option of campaign select create new campaign enter the campaign name you can send the messages immediately or you can schedule it for a future date and time so you can schedule it for future date and time or you can also send the messages immediately next select audience 
so right now all of your contacts in the CRM you have total four contacts you can either send the bulk campaign to all the contacts or you can also segment it on the basis of conditions so let me add a condition wherein I am only sending it to B to C contacts so add a condition select the custom field which you want to filter that is category is B to C so B to C as soon as I enter the value B to C you can see here the total receivers have been updated to 2 next we have also an option wherein you can pre-save these conditions in the form of segments so you can simply go to segments and then let me create two or three segments for example so first is b2b so if custom fit category is b2b then you can see there are two contacts here you can also refresh the count if you have added more contacts in future with the same conditions and the second category is b2c if the category is Now a very important information, these conditions can be multi-level as well. So for example, if category is B2B and sorry or category, you might have more categories in future but you want to only have these two categories contacts you know filtered and you want to send them a bulk message you can segment it like this now these categories can be easily loaded while you're sending the bulk campaign so we simply click on campaign create new test and i'm sending it immediately click on audience click on segmented now we can simply load it from here select the segment click on load condition all of your conditions will get loaded you can see now the total receivers is two select the option of message select channel now we have three types of messages for the bulk campaign either pre-approved templates regular or bot so in in case of regular message the regular messages will only get delivered if the user has sent an incoming message to your number within last 24 hours if you are initiating a bulk message to the users who have not sent you any incoming message simply select the option of pre-approved templates now if you have any pre-approved templates it should show here but if you have created the templates in the CRM and they are sorry in the VABA and they are not visible here simply click on sync templates now all the approved templates would be fetched and you can see them here then you can select any of the template and once you have selected the template you'll get the option to fill the body variables so you can see here my this template has only one variable and some fixed content with three buttons so this variable i can have a common entry like hello or hi sir or ma'am but if i want to personalize this with the user's name or number sorry with the user's name i simply click on this this icon and all the custom fields that we have imported earlier would be visible here you can simply select this now when the actual message is going to be sent to the user you will see that his chat name would get replaced the second option is you can have more than one template message sent to your user in a single campaign so you again say, uh, select the option of add message from here select the channel select pre-approve now uh, my templates are already synced so i'll simply select any one of them and now here i have two variables so i can personalize them with chat name and for now i'm simply mapping it to order number now one very important feature a lot of times there might be certain mistakes in the message that you are going to send so best is to enter your number with country code if your country without any space without any characters 
and then click on send test message and check all the messages individually a number would be available here if you have you know tested it for any one of the messages but send each message and figure out if there is any mistake or any issue with the particular message one important thing when you are sending the test message the variable will not get replaced it will only give you the variable name in the body but when you are sending the actual broadcast the variable will get replaced now if you are sending more than one message you have the option wherein you can define time gap between each message for that you can simply select message flow if you are sending only one message message flow option won't appear but if you are sending more than one message select the option of message flow and click on one message to all contacts now what will happen is one message will be sent to all of your contacts that is first message and then we can have a time delay say of maybe one hour and then the second message would be sent to all of your contacts you can preview the data again and then click on save campaign so one very important uh, information here if you have quick reply buttons that is these type of buttons wherein once the user click on it the message would come incoming to your same whatsapp number or whatsapp api number you have the option to either save these replies what the user is clicking to their custom fields or you can also not save it so you need to define an option here so for example this is very useful if you want to track what are the buttons the particular customer has clicked when you have sent the campaign so for now i am simply clicking do not save or else you can create a category and you can also store this and then save campaign once you have saved the camp campaign even if it is scheduled for future or being sent immediately the status will always show pending you need to click on this rocket icon only then it will get scheduled for future or it will be sent immediately so this is how you can send bulk campaigns and import contacts